Today I will be showing you how to install Windows 10 on an Intel Mac. Please note that this cannot be done on the new M1 Macs without a third party app like Parallels. Here is a screenshot of my Mac with an Intel i7 processor. Different versions of Mac OS can install different versions of Windows from XP to Windows 10. So be sure to check on the Apple website what version of Windows your Mac can install and then grab the ISO for that version. Older versions of Mac OS Boot Camp require you to have a bootable USB version of Windows. Others require that your Windows ISO be on a USB drive, while the newest version, starting with some versions of High Sierra and all versions of Mojave and onward, only need you to have the ISO somewhere on your main Mac drive. Step 1. Make sure your Windows ISO is somewhere on your desktop. Find your Boot Camp application on your Mac. You can search it, or it might be on your desktop as well. Click and open Boot Camp. You will be greeted with this message. Click continue on the bottom right of the window. On this window, click the choose button to the right of ISO image and locate your Windows ISO. After selecting your Windows ISO, it is time to partition our drive. Partitioning is how much of your hard drive or SSD you want to dedicate to Windows. You can make it as big or as little as you wish, but you have to have enough space for Windows operating system to have its own dedicated folders. After selecting your partition size, go to the bottom right of the window and you can click Install. Your Mac will now begin downloading Windows support software, ensuring that Windows will work on your Mac. Bootcamp will then inform you that it is now downloading Bootcamp Windows support software in whatever version it is. You will then be asked to give your password. Don't worry, this isn't a hacker, it's just a way that you can give permission to Mac to install Windows. Your screen will flash several times and then it will restart to the Windows logo. Adjust these options however you need to and then click Next on the bottom right of the window. Next, it'll ask you to provide a product key. Just click, I don't have a product key. Then choose the version of Windows you would like to install. I chose Windows 10 Pro because I'm a professional. Then click Next on the bottom right. Click I accept the license terms on the bottom left and then click Next on the bottom right. This is the part that a lot of people mess up on, so watch closely. You have to find the drive that says Boot Camp in all capital letters. Click that and then go to Format and then follow the menu on Format, click OK, and then click Next, making sure that the Boot Camp drive is still selected. Windows will now begin to install. It may take several minutes up to an hour to finish the installation. You will then need to let your computer restart. Your screen will flash several times to the Windows logo. Choose your region and then click Yes in the bottom right. Choose your preferred keyboard layout and then click Yes on the bottom right. Next, it'll ask you if you want to add a second keyboard layout. If you do, click Add Layout. If you don't, click Skip. After that, most versions of Boot Camp will ask you to connect to a network but will not give you an option to add a network. This is because in most versions of Boot Camp, they haven't added your Wi-Fi card yet. You need to have your Wi-Fi card driver installed after you finish this installation in order to connect to internet and do a few Windows updates, which we will get to later. So just click I don't have internet on the bottom left corner. On this window, click Continue with Limited Setup. Type the name you want for your computer and then click Next on the bottom right corner. Create your password and then click Next on the bottom right corner. Type your password again and then click Next. Choose three security questions and type their answers and click Next for each one. These are in case you get locked out of your account and can be used to get you access back to your account. Choose the options you want to activate or deactivate and then click accept. Personally, I don't turn on any of these because it will slow down your computer and your internet. If you want to link this account to your other devices, click yes. If not, click no. If you want to activate Cortana, click accept. If not, click not now. She's like Surrey, but for Microsoft.
several messages will appear on your screen in the next 10 to 30 minutes. These are just telling you that they are setting all the files up for you and Windows is almost done installing. You will be logged in and then a boot camp notification will pop up. You have to click next to install the rest of the software. Click I accept and then install. The installation of drivers will now begin. This screen is part of the driver installation process. Click finish. Click yes. Your computer will now restart. You will now see the login screen. Log in. Congratulations. You now have Windows on your Mac, but we're not done yet. On the bottom right, click the circular globe. Find your Wi-Fi and then log into it. If done correctly, you will now be connected to your Wi-Fi. On the bottom left, click the Windows icon. Type in Update and then at the very top, click Check for Updates. Your device will now check for updates that your computer is missing. Make sure to install all of them and do this multiple times. After every batch installs, be sure to hit restart now and then recheck for updates again and again until no more show up. Be sure to install the optional updates as well. These are important too. After every batch of updates, you will be greeted with this screen. Let it go through the entire way. Congratulations, you have Windows on your Mac. If you'd like to go back to Mac OS, turn your computer off. When you hit the power button, immediately hold the option key until the menu pops up. It'll ask if you want to boot into Windows or Mac. Choose Mac and hit enter.